We'd like to welcome you to the Constant Convocation Center on the campus of Old Dominion University. A raucous atmosphere as we're in just the opening moments between Old Dominion and VCU, a long-time rivalry. And Cal, this crowd very much into it. Early on, the advantage belonged to the Rams of VCU. It sure did. It looked like uh, Old Dominion fell back in the zone, and, and uh, Maynard hit a three right away. Uh, a frenetic pace right now, but uh, I think the Old Dominion is going to look to slow things down and, and get control of this game. Michael Anderson from Virginia Beach, Virginia, completes a three-point play. The Rams with a 6-2 advantage. VCU actually leads this series 38-36, to but Old Dominion has won four of the last six, and it's always intense. Henderson, the senior from the Richmond area, gets it to another senior, Brandon Johnson. Four seniors on this Old Dominion squad, other than a very young team. Old Dominion, good ball movement, this possession. They slowed it down. Inside, they go to their main man, Gerald Lee. Pretty move. He can't get the rolling. Femini rebounds on the weak side for BCU. Gerald Lee has tremendous footwork for a big guy, 6'10", and he really one-on-one -on -one can get anything he wants down there. BCU's going to have their hands full tonight. Great pass inside. Anderson couldn't finish. And a redshirt freshman, Frank Cassell, who's coming on strong for Old Dominion with the rebound. Just over three minutes gone by. And now a steal by Jamal Schuler. Schuler all the way. Pretty move by Jamal Schuler, who is a senior. Turnovers will kill you in any game, but you got to get back. Looked like uh, Old Dominion a little slow getting back there. They're going to call a double dribble on Johnson. We take a look at some outstanding defense, and Schuler did it all himself. You see Gerald Lee here with the ball, just threw it to, uh, just threw it to VCU, went down the other end for a layup. Schuler's had some great games against Old Dominion in his career, and he's coming off a big game on Wednesday night as VCU handed Delaware its first CAA loss. 24 for Schuler in that one. Old Dominion also coming off a win. Monarchs victorious over James Madison. But VCU's red hot. They've won nine of their last 10, 10 of their last 12. As Maynard, another great dish inside to Anderson. And Anderson able to finish this time. Maynard really doing a good job this season. He was preseason pick for uh, player of the year. And he's averaging 17 points, five rebounds, and four assists. He's definitely, he's definitely on his way to uh, being a top candidate. Lee inside to Hassell. Hassell can't get it to go. Famini, another rebound for the Rams who really want to go with it. a freshman Rodriguez cross court Maynard for three he backs his second three of the game he's and BCU a blitzing Old Dominion right now up 11 they're gonna have to get a handle on Maynard he's historically slaughtered the Monarchs uh, and the he's foul off to a good start the foul was on Maynard we've got a timeout on the floor early on it's all BCU at Old Dominion I think that somebody would want to come to VCU Medical Center because you know, we're not only are we uh, passionate doctors, but we're also we're educators and we're researchers. To do research and education, you have to have an intimate knowledge of orthopedics, and it's that increased knowledge of orthopedics that I believe makes us better doctors. Ambulances, helicopters will go right past many hospitals to take the patients here when it reaches a certain complexity. When you deal with those types of problems, it's always extremely rewarding. Just announced from Chevy Chase Acura. For one week only, get super savings on a new 2008 TL for only $2.99 per month. Or the 2008 MDX for just $3.99 per month. Plus, get 3.9% on any 2003 to 2008 certified pre-owned Acura on our lot. With financing up to 60 months, you'll save thousands in interest. Don't miss the super savings this week only at Chevy Chase Acura in Bethesda. 
Experience the future at the Washington Auto Show, January 23rd through 27th at the Washington Convention Center. There's something for everyone as the automotive industry presents Engineered for the Future. With more introductions, concepts, cars, trucks, contests, entertainment, and action than ever, it's a great adventure for the entire family. For information and tickets, go to WashingtonAutoShow.com. The Washington Auto Show. Explore the future. Today's CAA basketball coverage on Comcast Sports that is brought to you by Aeropostale, the official apparel provider of the CAA. By Amtrak, see America the way it was meant to be seen. Travel to over 500 destinations. Book your trip online at Amtrak.com. By Geico, a 15-minute call could save you 15% or more on car insurance. By Kroger, right store, right time. And by Sirius Satellite Radio. Old Dominion on the attack. That timeout came at a perfect time, and Frank Cassell stops a 10-0 run by VCU. Frank Cassell really been playing well for a freshman lately. Uh, two good games in a row, starting off great tonight. Michael Anderson comes up short. Pamini, though, with the rebound. Schuler And a rebound knocked out of bounds. It'll be Old Dominion basketball as Ben Finney, the freshman for Old Dominion, got a hand on it, but the Rams knocked it out. Now, Cal, that timeout came at a great opportunity for Old Dominion. They were in trouble, and they're still out, out of the woods by a long shot, but at least Wayne Taylor was able to calm his squad. And now Rodriguez, the freshman, with a steal. The, the pace is really out of control for Old Dominion right now. I think Blaine Taylor, that timeout, settled them down a little bit and, and wanted them to try to get this game back under control, slow half court. VCU is really running and forcing turnovers and knocking shots down. Schuler. Not shy. He's got a three. Rainer's got two threes. VCU up by 12. Jonathan Adams, the only junior on this Old Dominion roster, has it for Old Dominion. And now he gives it to one of the four seniors, Brandon Johnson. He's got uh, three freshmen on the floor right now for the Monarchs. A sell. Darius James, one of those freshmen, long on the three. Adams with the rebound. Now Johnson had his pass poked away, but Fenny recovers. Blocked by Femini. And Perseverance pays off for Fenny. I'll tell you what, that's what he does. He battles on the boards, he scraps, he fights every possession, and he comes up with offensive rebounds and putbacks like that. DC is doing a great job moving the basketball against his own, and Maynard hits his third three of the game. He had 23 threes coming in, and now he's got 26 in Old Dominion. Down big, 13-point deficit. He is on fire. Finney, a great pass. Hassell gets hacked by Femini. He'll shoot two as we take a look at our Cadillac keys to the game. Cal, first of all, first key uh, for Old Dominion. DC, uh, Old Dominion has got to contain Maynard, and they have not done a good job so far as hit three three-pointers. Uh, also, uh, for VCU, for VCU uh, they have to contain Lee. They're going to go in early and often, and he's got great footwork and fundamentals on the box. He's their main uh, inside threat. Also they, also, they have to attack the basket. ODU has got to contain Maynard. They haven't done it so far today. Uh, they, they also have to get production from their four seniors. Senior production is going to be incredibly important for the Monarchs tonight if they want to have a chance to beat this VCU team. Uh, bench play also equally important. Uh, the Monarchs bench doing very well this season, and they've got to also give the Monarchs something. Hassell, one out of two from the line. He struggles from the stripe, only 23% coming in. Monarchs abandon the zone for the time being. And Ladonde charged with the task of guarding the CA Player of the Year. Femini open. And Finney snares the rebound. Adams. That's too quick of a shot for, for the Monarchs. They have got to slow it down. You do not want to have one pass, one shot. Pashelnikov from Russia rebounds for VCU. Schuler, another three. This one won't go. And Adams 
Comes up with a loose ball. They are fueling the pace that VCU wants. VCU is pushing the ball and getting early shots. Old Dominion has, has to slow the ball down. Darius James, freshman from right here in Virginia Beach with the ball. Gets it to Adams. James has been an extremely pleasant surprise, but there he bounces it off his foot, and it'll be a backboard violation. Wayne Taylor saying it was off the foot. Well, it was off the foot, but it was off the foot of his player. There's Anthony Grant, second-year head coach of VCU, has done a tremendous job taking the Rams to the NCAA, and they upset Duke last year in the first round of that NCAA tournament. In fact, if Billy Donovan had not changed his mind, Anthony Grant wouldn't be here today. He'd be the head coach at Florida. They're getting ready to host Kentucky later on tonight. Old Dominion struggling from the field, only 3 of 11. Eric Maynard has three field goals already himself for VCU. And he's got it out front. Rodriguez to Schuler. Rodriguez, tough shot. He got it to go. Joey Rodriguez. VCU is really uh, maintaining the tempo of the game right now. They, if they don't have the transition, they pull it out and run something and, and are very patient and got a great layup right there after working the ball around the horn. Gerald Lee back in the ball game as Ladonde fakes once, fires next, too strong. Schuler rebounds. VCU just doing a great job of moving the basketball so far offensively. They really are. They've, they're picking their spots. They're pushing the ball in transition, pulling it out, and running an offensive set. Doing a good job. Maynard misses. Ladonde rebounds, but he, Maynard picks it off and scores. Boy, he was just coached them right into that turnover. You can see it, it happened right in front of us. Well, Ladonde's a fifth-year senior. He's got to be smarter than making that pass. Blaine Taylor, a 30-second timeout. 11.06 to go, and he felt like, even though he had a timeout coming on the next whistle, he absolutely had to slow it down. And Eric Maynard has 11 of VCU's 23, so he by himself is already outscoring Old Dominion. And there you see a very concerned head coach, Blaine Taylor now in his seventh year in charge at Old Dominion. Let's take a look at after Maynard's miss, he came up with a big defensive play. Maynard four out of five so far. Three of four from three. Just a careless pass by 50 or Cena Ladonde. Really passed it right to Maynard who was Faked his way up the court and turned back and caught the ball and laid it in right at the basket. And now it's VCU's turn to show zone. Original starting lineup on the floor with the exception of Hassell. He's in for Sam Harris. Al Dominion moving the ball quickly against his own. Brandon Johnson pulls up. He missed the shot but he'll shoot a pair, but first timeout on the floor. 10.43 remaining in the first half. VCU with a big early advantage. Nearing the midway point in the first half, Old Dominion trailing VCU. I'm John Castleberry, Cal Bowler alongside, and Cal, you played in a few of these Old Dominion VCU games. It is an incredibly intense rivalry, is it not? It really is, and you can see it here tonight. VCU came ready to play. The, the pace is frenetic. They're running up and down the court, pushing the ball, getting turnovers, and it was the same way when I played. Shooting the big story so far. VCU red hot, 53%. Old Dominion equally cold, 23% from the field so far for the Monarchs in the first nine minutes and 17 seconds. Also, Eric Maynard really putting on a show from inside and outside. Brandon Johnson at the line to shoot a pair. Johnson, the senior, hits the first. Johnson, two for two. And now full court pressure by Old Dominion. The Monarchs really need to come out of that timeout knowing they've got to slow the pace of this game down.
Turnover gives it back to the Monarchs. VCU back in the zone. Hassell. Johnson has his pass poked away. Monarch's very tentative against the zone. Ed That's Nixon, one of the newcomers on for VCU, comes up with a loose ball. He's really got an attack of zone, just like he would man-to-man, -man, and the Monarchs are very, very passive right now. Ladonde gets a hand on a pass. Johnson up with it, and Ladonde scores. So Old Dominion on a 4-0 run. Once again, senior leadership, both seniors there, getting a piece on the ball and finishing a layup on the other end. Famini working on Gerald Lee. Now Schuler is back on for BCU. Blocked by Hassell. Henderson, the loose ball. For Hassell, that's his 22nd block of this season. He's a redshirt freshman from Chesapeake's Indian River High School as Gerald Lee knocks down. Five, Gerald Lee. A 6-0 run has Old Dominion back within 10. Old Dominion is def definitely taking control of the tempo for right now. And Pashelnikov can't finish inside with the rebound off to Maynard, so a fresh shot clock for VCU. That's a rebound right there ODU needed to come up with. Now, this is Nixon, freshman from St. Petersburg, Florida. Schuler all alone. Schuler has his third, second three in the game, his third field goal. He's got eight points, 11 for Maynard, and VCU backcourt just killing Old Dominion right now. Schuler coming off a huge game Wednesday night, 21 points. Picking up where he left off. Now Henderson, good baseline move, and the senior from Richmond connects for two. Once again, senior leadership for the Monarchs for this game. They are the ones that understand the intensity level in a, in a rivalry game like this. Six different Monarchs have scored so far, but none to the degree that Maynard and Schuler scored for VCU as Pamini gets it to Nixon, tried to dish inside. Pashelnikov saves it, and now Maynard walked with it. Timeout on the floor, 7.59 to go, first down. VCU by 11, but Old Dominion trying to come back. Just under eight minutes to go, first half. Old Dominion trailing VCU by 11, but they made a nice dent into what was a pretty sizable lead. Let's go back a few years. There's my broadcast partner, Cal Battler, who was the first round choice of the Atlanta Hawks a few years ago. Boy, look at that. I haven't seen that footage in a while. Now he gets inside the arc and knocks down the jumper just the way he used to do it. Down in scope when Old Dominion played there over at the field house. Not that many years removed from uh, your playing days. No, it hasn't been that many years. That was probably uh, 2002 right there. Eric Maynard, who already has 11 here today, had 17 for the Rams last year in the game played here in Norfolk. They split games last year. Gerald Lee open, gets it to Finney. Finney had it blocked. Ladonde up with it, though. His shot is blocked, and it'll belong to Old Dominion. Sanders doing a great job inside defensively for VCU. The level is really raised after that TV timeout. We had about two timeouts ago, and they've really maintain the tempo and, and are, are playing much hard much and lee has it stolen away from behind a foul and a basket is going to count well, unfortunately sloppy play is plaguing the monarchs right now brandon roselle a freshman from the richmond area with the steal really a, a bad play by gerald lee to put that ball on the floor like that very difficult for big guys to put the ball down on the floor in traffic. Little, little mosquitoes down there swiping at the ball at all times. Well, you give away your 6'9 height advantage when you do that as Roselle misses the shot. VCU leads it by 13 points. He was also 15 feet from the basket. There's no, there's no point for him to put that ball on the floor. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
James's pass slapped away by Sanders. You know, Anthony Grant certainly done a great job with the squad that he inherited from Jeff Capel when he took over last year, but he's gone down to where he has done his best work recruiting, and that is the state of Florida. He's brought in Sanders from Fort Pierce, Florida. He's brought in Kirsch from Fort Myers, Florida. Joey Rodriguez from Florida. And Ed Nixon from Florida. Well, Florida has great players perennially that come out of high school and go all across the country. He has great ties there and has done a great job. Lee almost lost it. Out to finish. Shot clock at one. LaDonna launches. Won't go. Rodriguez. Another one from Florida comes up with the ball. Monarch started off in his zone. VCU killed the zone, so they've been forced to go to man-to-man, -man, which is really the preferred defense of Blaine Taylor. Well, I think they're forced into playing zone with uh, Sam Harris in the middle, and uh, with him out of the game, they can really go man-to-man -man and, and mix things up. Whistle a foul away from the ball on Sanders. He got in front of Gerald Lee as he was trying to get inside. Another key to the game there, getting that ball inside to Gerald Lee. And once he gets it, he can really go to work, especially if VCU is going to play, play him one-on-one. -on -one. Anthony Grant just beckons Pashelnikov, who is from Russia. He'll take over for Sanders. Monarch ball. Trailing by 13. They've never led the ball game. Now Lee almost lost it. Tough shot, but he got it to go. Gerald Lee has six. He leads Old Dominion's attack, but they're still down by 11. Great patience by the big guy there to wait for the defense to clear out and make a one strong dribble and up for the jump hook. And they're going to call a foul on Henderson. And just the third team foul against Old Dominion as we, we see Gerald Lee take it upon himself. Well, he's very patient there. Great patience. Again, little guy swiping at the ball, maintained his strength, made a power move, knocked it down. Brandon Johnson back on the floor for the Monarchs as the freshman Darius James will sit. Now Maynard also back for VCU. Tough shot. Anderson. With the offensive rebound and the foul, he took that ball right away from Gerald Lee, who could only get one hand on it. Well, he did. Old, Old Dominion, if they're going to go with a smaller lineup, they're going to have to rebound. Gerald Lee, the small, the tallest guy on the floor, but not the most athletic guy. First foul on Gerald Lee, only the fourth team foul against Old Dominion, and Michael Anderson at the line for a pair. Six points for Anderson, who played his high school ball in Virginia Beach. A little homecoming for him. Pretty good so far. He's got seven points. BCU's lead back to 13 and more full court pressure by the Rams. Anderson really working hard there as a big guy to help him recover on the full court press. Well, he is very athletic as Henderson spins. Tough shot by Henderson. He's got four. The Monarchs are going to need him to give them some big minutes tonight. Schuler. Pass slapped away by Brandon Johnson. It'll be VCU ball. That was great defense by the freshman Ben Finney there to stifle that move by Schuler and give him nothing. A sell back on for Old Dominion. Gerald Lee will sit. And this certainly... Limits their options offensively anytime Lee's not on the floor. Schuler behind the screen. Adams rebounds. Pretty move by the senior Henderson. 
Beautiful play. And he's got six, and for the first time in a long time, Old Dominion with only a single-digit deficit. Down by nine. Nearly a steal by Johnson. And it's been a while since Maynard scored. Brian, Brian Henderson, a little catalyst here over the last couple of minutes. Playing good D, giving the Monarchs a lift. Koshelnikov with the screen and Maynard with his fourth three of the game. Well, you called his number and there he answered for you. Maynard with 14, the lead back to 12. I'll tell you, this crowd is not phasing him one bit. Well, he, he thrives on this kind of stuff. Sheldonikov plays in the dish to Finney. Not even close as Schuler rebounds to Maynard. He doesn't have the numbers, so he'll set the offense. That's a smart play by Maynard there. You know, he's hot. He's feeling it right now. He could have taken a bad shot, but he decided not to pull it back out, and they get into their offense. That's a great play. Very well coached. Out front to Rodriguez, the freshman. On the dish, Pashelnikov blocked from behind. Finney on the block. Up to Henderson. Hassell fakes the shot, lost it. Schuler. One on one. Adams has the rebound. Perhaps not the shot that Anthony Grant would have wanted. No, it's sloppy on both, both teams right now. Henderson for the three. Defense ran at him and he drew nothing but air. Looks like Anderson may have gotten a little piece on the uh, on the elbow there, but no call. So. Rodriguez. Boy, VCU is shooting absolutely lights out from three. That's seven three-point field goals in 17 minutes and 20 seconds. Adams down the lane. A blocking foul against VCU. They won't count the basket. Timeout on the floor, 2.35 left in the half. VCU has stretched the lead back to 15. We are back. John Castleberry along with Cal Battler, VCU enjoying a 15-point lead. Check out Michael Anderson. He's, you know what he's doing there? He's quieting the crowd. Quieting he's the saying, crowd, that's right. He's saying that jumper just quieted the crowd. That's pretty clever. That yeah, is. It is, I tell you, because it's loud in here. It's white out night. The majority of the uh, people in the stands have white t-shirts on, and uh, ECU playing very well. Anderson playing before many family and friends, I would think. He uh, from Virginia Beach, Lansdowne High School, a senior. And it is Old Dominion basketball down by 15. They had gotten to within nine, but VCU took off again. Now they, they, they controlled the tempo for a few minutes, but VCU took it back over. Let's see if ODU can come out of this timeout and gain control back. Trying to get it to Lee. Immediately he's double teamed. James. That is beautiful two-man basketball right there. Inside out, you don't have anything. You kick it out to the wide open three-point shooter. Beautifully executed. James, 22nd three-point field goal of this season. Old Dominion within 12 as we approach the two-minute mark. Schuler pass slapped away and taken away by Hassell. James to Lee, pass slapped away, and now two on one for DCU. Schuler. There's James trying to force that pass through about two two or three VCU shirts didn't get through and they got VCU got a layup on the other end. Schuler has 10. Maynard has 14 and VCU leads it by 14. Now Hassell. Good move. Didn't finish and VCU now with the ball in the lead.
the freshman Rodriguez. Schuler. Oh, what a beautiful play. They set up a double screen. And he made a couple of great fakes to get open. I'll tell you, he was wide open, too. So now Schuler has 13. He and he has three threes. Maynard has four threes. Let's see if we can't take a look at just how Schuler got so wide open. So we're going to catch you way late, but uh, before that, it's a pretty clever move and a well-designed play. There was not an Old Dominion Monarch shirt within 10 feet of him. 41-24, 17 points, the biggest lead of the afternoon for VCU. Lee will try to stem the tide from the line. He's looking for his seventh point. Lee, a 73% foul shooter. VCU doing a good job right now of limiting his touches. I mean, if he does catch the ball, they're swarming around and not giving him good looks. They're doing a good job. VCU shooting an even 50% in the half. Old Dominion has gotten better up to 39%. Lee has eight. And now Old Dominion with full court pressure. Joey Rodriguez, no problem bringing it up against the token pressure applied by James. See if ODU can get a stop in a bucket here and take a little momentum into halftime, into the locker room for halftime. About a six-second difference between the game and shot clock, and it's at five as Rodriguez attacks. He's got Maynard open. Good defense, though. Monarchs with the numbers. Johnson. Out of Adams, three seconds left in the half. Lee's got to shoot it. Lee at the buzzer. And not exactly the, the sequence Old Dominion wanted at the end, although they did prevent VCU from getting off a shot. They would love to have gotten a field goal themselves, but instead they go to the locker room, having been dominated in the first half and trailing by 15. Welcome back, John Castleberry, along with Cal Bowler, and a sellout crowd here at the Constance Center. But VCU, a very impressive first half, leading by 15, and VCU starts out in his own defense. It'll be interesting to see how Old Dominion comes out here and see if they can not try to slow this game down. They did not do a good job in the first half of controlling the tempo. Henderson, tough shot, but he got it to go. Henderson has eight, so a good start to the second half offensively for the Monarchs. Penetration against the zone is a key factor, breaking it down, getting into the teeth of the zone. Maynard left open, missed it. And Lee rebounds, but they say he was on the end line. You know, one thing for sure, I can't believe that, that Maynard was supposed to have that open a look as you see Henderson attack the basket. Once again, getting into the teeth of the zone and really mixing it up. People don't know their matchups, get a good shot. Rodriguez, the freshman. Now Anderson had a guy wide open, but the pass went off an Old Dominion foot. Lee. Roll won't fall. Schuler rebounds for the Rams. Even though he was wide open there, I don't know if they wanted to shoot the ball that quickly. Lee has only two threes this year. Of course, he's only taken five three-point shots, but he had one Wednesday night against Madison. Well, he can definitely knock him down. Rodriguez can't get that one to fall. Lee the rebound. Monarch's doing a good job to start the half defensively. Henderson, good defense by Schuler, hit it on the way up. minute 50 into the second half VCU hadn't scored but now they still have it as Sanders missed the dunk Monarchs really got to get something going on offense Brandon Johnson a great look Benny kept it alive and scored what a move by the freshman Ben Benny he did it in the first half he did it again right there 
Hustle plays around the basket, getting the ball, easy stick backs. Great job by the freshman. So Old Dominion starts the second half on a 4-0 run, and now more defense as Fenny comes up with a steal. Three on two. Henderson drives. That would have been big. Instead, Sanders corrals the rebound. Unfortunately, they didn't get a score. That was a good offensive set. Rodriguez. Now to Anderson. Sanders got it to go. DCU almost went three full minutes before they scored in the second half. And until until that bucket, they had a, they were doing a good job of controlling the defensive end of the floor. They've got to do something on offense. First points of the game for Sanders. Lead for two. And once again, it won't go. And the long rebound belongs to Anderson. Anthony Grant stands up, calls play number one. Shot clock under 10. Anderson. Rodriguez blocked by Lee. Oh, you cannot get the ball. Sanders scores again. BCU got three shots at the basket, three, three offensive rebounds. Somebody for ODU with that small lineup has got the rebound. Henderson, good look at a three. Only the second three of the afternoon for Old Dominion. The Monarchs within 12, 15.42 to go in regulation. at Old Dominion where the Monarchs have trimmed three points off of a 15-point halftime deficit, but still a long way to go. For the latest standing statistics and information, visit the CAA website at www.caasports.com. The Monarchs spread a little bit better so far defensively this half. So far, they They've given up only four points in just over four minutes. So VCU's cooled off a little bit. You know, they've got to get something going offensively, though. They're, they're doing a good job to start the half defensively, but they're, they're not really getting much offensively. And they go back to a zone this time with a 1-3-1 one, one variety. Brandon Rizell, freshman from Richmond, back on the floor for the Rams. He hit a three in the first half. Actually, a two-point field goal in the first half for Rizal. Lance Curse, another guy from Freshman, who is a second cousin of Javon Curse of NFL fame, on the floor. Sanders again can't finish the dunk, but this time he'll get a trip to the foul line. We see you very patient there, working the ball around against the zone until they got that wide-open layup, which he missed but got fouled and going to the line. Timeout on the floor, 15-10 left to go. In regulation in Norfolk, BCU leading Old Dominion by an even dozen. Back in Norfolk, Old Dominion trailing by 12. Watch this Post Live, the sports show that gets to the point where the experts go to talk sports. Washington Post Live, presented by First Fidelity Mortgage, weekdays at 5 on Comcast Sportsnet. Old Dominion has turned it over 11 times. VCU has turned those turnovers into 15 points. Old Dominion only four points off of nine Virginia Commonwealth turnovers as Sanders misses the first. That was a good job on that last play just before the timeout of Frank Cassell meeting Sanders at the rim and not giving up the dunk. 
Sanders right on his average. 50% from the line for the year. And he's got five points in the game all here in the second half. In fact, he's got all five of VCU's points in the second half. And now a timeout taken by Gerald Lee as Old Dominion struggling to get the ball in. Hey, the VCU defense was tenacious there. Nowhere for uh, Gerald Lee to throw the ball. The backcourt of Schuler and Maynard dominant in the first half. In fact, Maynard had 14 first half points, largely from downtown where he hit four threes. There's a nice steal where Maynard anticipated the pass. And those aren't close threes. Those will be threes next year whenever they move the line back. That's right. They're very close to actually NBA three-point line. He's Maynard. been unconscious here today. Maynard, of course, just a junior from Rayford, North Carolina. Recruited by Jeff Capel III whenever he was VCU's head coach. He did a lot of big shots in his career, including the winner last year against Duke in the NCAA tournament. That's right, and he was CAA tournament MVP, bringing him into this season. Monarchs get it in. Lee will bring it up, and now Old Dominion with numbers. Henderson mishandled it. He should have had a layup. Now Brandon Johnson attacks. Tough shot, and the rebound, Maynard. And that's an unfortunate possession for Old Dominion because Brian Henderson did have a layup there. Could not get a handle on the ball. Now Old Dominion back to the man-to-man -man as Rizal open. Johnson rebounds. He's pushing it. Does not have number. Takes it all the way. And can't get it to go. Famini rebounds for BCU. Well, he saw the gap and, and knifed his way through it, but unfortunately it was, it was really one on four there. Hassell rebounds the main or miss. This time Johnson dishes and they call a blocking foul. It's going against Femini. Second foul on Femini. As we see Johnson this time give it up. Yeah, I don't know. It looked like he had pretty good position in yes, there to he me. he did. Adams returns. Lee will sit for Old Dominion. Nixon back on the floor for VCU. He'll take over for Roselle. Benny, the freshman. Nearly six minutes gone by in the second half. It's a very important possession for the Monarchs to try to get something offensively. Benny spins, and he's fouled. He'll go to the line, I believe. They've got to chip away at this lead. They're going to call it on Shuler. Mm -hmm. Ben Fenny at the line for a pair. He's a 66% foul shooter, which is exactly what Old Dominion is as a team. Well, his numbers will get better. He's going to be down there to get a foul to lock. He's always down there with his nose under the basket. Fenny has five points. There's no, there's no 15-point uh, basket in basketball, so they've got to just be patient and ship away possession by possession. Now Old Dominion extends the pressure, man to man. Bad shot by Schuler, and they're going to call a hell ball possession to VCU, and the Rams may be fortunate, at least in the minds of the Old Dominion fans. Oh, that was a pretty good call. Yeah, it looked like it. We gave them a, a wild tussle and see if anybody was going to control it. I don't know. It looked like maybe uh, John Adams had the ball, but VCU ball. Schuler, the hop step in the lane and a pretty score. Schuler now with 15. He leads all scores. Ladonde to Lee for the jam. Beautiful play. Pass. Great way for the big guy to run the floor and get that dunk. And again, Old Dominion within 12. Maynard guarded by the freshman James. Now this is Nixon, another one of those freshmen from Florida. Spinning. 
with the steal, and they're going to wave off the basket. They'll wave off the basket. Great hands right there by Ben Finney to steal that ball. It'll be Monarch basketball as we see the great pass by Ladonde. Great job by the big fella to get down, run the floor, and put it down with authority. Nixon goes out for BCU. Rodriguez back on. And James will throw it in. Also, Pashelnikov back on the floor for the Rams. Finney spins on Fabini. And he'll go to the line. He had nothing, but somehow managed to draw enough contact to draw the whistle. Well, he's doing a good job of mixing it up right now. Had a steal on the defensive end, and now two possessions in a row going to the free throw line. Pashelnikov charged with the personal. There were three VCU shirts there. A little, little contact. Benny now has six. And Old Dominion can get it down to a 10-point deficit if he can finish this off. Pashelnikov to the bench. Michael Anderson back in. Still plenty of time. Again, Benny only one out of two from the line. Maynard scoreless so far in the second half. Rodriguez, pretty crafty little point guard. Samini with a strong rebound and a score. I'll tell you, VCU tonight has had great patience on offense. First points of the game for the senior, Will Famini. He's been bothered by some tendonitis in a knee he had operated on a couple of years ago when he was at Arizona State. Bad shot that time by James. And a traveling violation. Again, Ben Finney makes it happen defensively. Ben Finney, once again, down there with his nose around the ball, hands moving, forced the big guy to travel on the rebound. ODU gets the ball back. Dangerous pass. Maynard. But he saves it to Old Dominion. James. He's fouled. He'll shoot three. Boy, that was a crazy series there with a turnover by Old Dominion, followed by a turnover by VCU, followed by a foul on the three-pointer. Rodriguez guilty of the foul, which is something that you never want to see, and I don't know about that foul. Uh, if, if there was contact, it was well after he released that shot. Of course, I think Darius James uh, showing the savvy of a veteran, even though he's only a freshman, falling down. That's right. He may have realized it was not even close and just fell down so they could get the foul call. Darius James, though, really done a good job of impacting the Monarchs team at a young age. Averaging 10 points, four rebounds, three assists. Tremendous number for the freshman. Only four points today, but a chance to improve on that with a couple of more foul shots. Hassell returns. Ben Finney, who has made a lot of things happen the last couple of minutes, to the bench. And now some confusion. I don't know what the referees are talking about. The foul was on Rodriguez. Maybe a time issue or something. They're looking at a replay, and I, I really have no idea what they're talking about. Today's officiating crew, Jerry Heater, William Humes, and Jason Page. That's William Humes with the headset on. Yeah. Let's see if we can. I think what's in question is whether or not it was a three. If we could back it up. Just, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a three. In fact, Blaine Taylor just looked over at us to see, and it was definitely a three. Uh, so they were looking to see if, was, his foot, if his foot was on the line. Yeah, it was absolutely a three. Anthony Grant trying to do what he could to make it a two-shot foul, but no question. 
He was several inches behind the line. It's clearly a three-pointer. So James with one more. So he gets two of the three. James has five. The lead 11. And good pressure in the backcourt. Hassell with a steal. Boy, the arena erupts as uh, Gerald Lee gets a steal and hits it to Hassell for a layup under the basket. Once again, a nine-point deficit. Old Dominion trailed by 15 at the half, trailed by as many as 17 in the first half. What a great college basketball atmosphere we got here tonight. Still plenty of time to go as Schuler has it. And a foul on Darius James. Just a little overzealous defensively. Timeout on the floor. 11.26 left in regulation. As we take a look at some Old Dominion defense creating some Monarch offense. Tiptoeing the line there. Pass to Frank Hassell. Play it. Old Dominion on the move. Only down by nine. They trailed by 15 at the half. We saw one Old Dominion stand out earlier in Cal Battler. How about another one? It's Chris Gatling, who played for Tom Young late 80s and early 90s. Went on to a 12-season NBA career. How many teams did Chris Gatling play with? He must have played with about a dozen teams. I think he must have played probably nine or ten easily. And he's actually the uh, highest drafted player in Old Dominion history. You mean you didn't get him? I didn't. He was 16. I was 17. Schuler for BCU. The crowd very much back in this basketball game after being out of it for the bulk of the first half. Schuler off the screen. That will help quiet the crowd. Schuler has been outstanding tonight. Schuler with 17, and you know, Maynard's still without a point here in the second half. James guarded by Rodriguez. Ladonde can't get it to go. Ladonde, one of their better three-point shooters. Only a two so far today. He's streaky. When he's hot, he can he can knock him down from anywhere. But often when he's cold, he doesn't he doesn't make him. Maynard and Rodriguez. Nearing the midway point of this second half. Shot clock under 10. Into Femini. Hassell can't run it down after he knocked it away. It'll stay with VCU, but only four seconds remain on the shot clock. Good effort by the big fellow there, diving after that ball after knocking it away. Okay, Old Dominion has six on the floor. And now Hassell will go to the bench. We're in a good position here. You, know, you want to have, when you're fighting your way back, you want to have single digits with the at the 10-minute mark to go in the game. Maynard right back to Schuler has to fire the three as the clock was winding down and a foul on Rodriguez. And that'll be 16 fouls against BCU. Only two so far against the Monarchs midway through the second half. Great job by Ben Finney going up strong and ripping that ball out of the sky. Ben Finney's had a good day, but an outstanding second half. And a lot of what he does doesn't show up necessarily in the points. You're absolutely right. A couple steals, but just tenacious. And they're always, always got his nose around the ball. Brandon Johnson. Now Finney back out front. Adams for three. Off the mark, Gerald Lee tried to keep it alive, but Maynard has it for the Rams. Maynard, hesitation move in the score. Well, that was a beautiful move in the open court to freeze the defense and pull up for the wide open jumper. He's got 16, the lead for the Rams back to 13. Wayne Taylor wants to take a timeout as we do see a, a great move in the open court by the CAA preseason player of the year. And you certainly have to respect his ability to go by you. But you give him a little space and then he's, he's deadly on a move like well, that. Well, you saw it right there. Jonathan Adams back. 
gave him a step. He didn't want him to blow, blow by him, and he pulled up and knocked down the 15 footer. Of course, VCU entered this ball game with a share of first place in the league. Tied is five and one with Delaware. Delaware underway in its game up at Northeastern. But if things fell just right, if Old Dominion were to beat VCU and Delaware were to lose at Northeastern and George Mason were to win tonight at James Madison, that could be a four-way tie for first place in this league. Well, it's a very balanced league and very competitive nationally, and it's shown here in the standings with, with so many teams in contention for first place. Henderson back on for Old Dominion. Johnson on the attack. Way short. Kept alive. Now Lee's got it. Shot clock to four. Lee for two. Rebound clock four. Finney again. Blocked from behind by Sanders. And a foul's going to go against Sanders. He is everywhere. Incredible. He is everywhere. And that is the third foul on Sanders, the seventh team foul. So if Old Dominion can take care of business from the foul line, that will help their cause. I'll tell you what, Finney's got his hand on every ball. A sell back Adams to the bench for Old Dominion. Exactly nine minutes to go. And the free throw, boy, you talk about a friendly rim. You take a look at VCU, and that 25.2 field goal percentage defense is number one, not in the CAA, but in the nation. Uh, that's an impressive stat, too. I mean, to hold teams to 25% from beyond the arc is a very impressive stat. Who got the rebound? Anderson. Wouldn't pull the trigger on the three. Johnson will. Won't go. Rebound, Maynard for VCU. Now that second attempt set up by Ben Finney getting off with the rebound. And now Schuler. Boy, that's a big shot for the senior, Jamal Schuler. He is absolutely unconscious. He's got 20. And the lead right where it was at the half, 15 points for VCU. And now Gerald Lee, tough shot, in and out. Hassell couldn't control it, but VCU touched it last. Every time Old Dominion makes a makes a little drive and cuts the cut the point lead down, VCU answers and gets it right back up. Lee with the ball fake, left hand won't go. Benny saves it, but they say he was on the baseline, out of bounds to VCU. Tell you what, uh, this guy's just a freshman, Ben Fenny. Lee's just a sophomore, and then you look at Hassell and, and James, just freshmen, getting incredibly significant minutes early in their careers. I say ODU is going to have a very, very bright future with those guys as they age and mature and come in, come into the to the game where they can really rise and play at this level. Schuler. Inside, Sanders still can't finish the dunk, and that time, Hassal hacked him on his way to the rim. 7.52 to go. He's got a timeout on the floor, and VCU has stretched the lead back to 15 primarily because of the play of Jamal Schuler as he drains another three. Old Dominion had trimmed the lead to nine, but VCU got it right back up to where it was at halftime. Jamal Schuler has been outstanding here in the second half. Seven of his 20 in the second half. And while Maynard's been shut down in the second half for the most part, Schuler has been outstanding. This is after a 21-point performance Wednesday night as the Rams handed Delaware its first defeat in the conference this year. Larry Sanders at the line with two shots. 
both Maynard and Schuler were dominant in the first half and ODU done a good job of containing Maynard but Schuler has just been unleashing from all angles of the, of the court. Sanders with six all here in the second half. Kept it alive for himself and LaDonde gets called for the reach. LaDonde felt that he'd been pushed to Sanders got the offensive rebound. There was some space between them. I don't know if he was pushed or not, but there was some space. Either he was pushed or he just didn't do a good job of boxing out there. Second foul on LaDonde, 14 fouls against Old Dominion. Schuler to Sanders. And now an 18-point lead, biggest of the game. Old Dominion in big trouble here. And we have an upset in college basketball. Maryland beat number one in previously unbeaten North Carolina, and they did it in Chapel Hill. What a great game Maryland must have played to upset UNC. Plenty of highlights on that one on Comcast Sports Night. Meanwhile, VCU will nurse a little clock here as they're very much in control as we approach the seven-minute mark. Rodriguez left alone. And now James runs it down. Should have been a turnover and a foul against Rodriguez. That'll put Old Dominion at the line for a one-and-one. One. They give VCU credit. They've done a great job of disrupting Old Dominion's offense. ODU not been able to get much offensively at all. Give all the credit to VCU. No intent there. <laughs> <laughs> a little chin to the floor never hurts, especially if you're a young freshman. James, 67% for the season. It's the first. Rodriguez may have banged up his hand a little bit. Adams returns, has sell to the benches. Again, Old Dominion cannot afford to miss any foul shots, that's for sure. And that's at least four they've missed in the second half. No, you don't definitely want to give away three points, that's for sure. Six and a half to play. Maynard. Shot clock to six. Little short, and Sanders got called for a hold on Lee. So again, free throws at the other end for the Monarch. Sanders using his long arms and long body to reach over the back of Gerald Lee, and they called him for the foul. That's number four on the freshman Sanders, and it's 19 fouls against BCU. Can't really see the foul. The line, excuse me, Lee, 73% from the line. Nobody making free throws here tonight, are for, for the Monarchs. Pass deflected out of bounds by Adams. In the first half, Old Dominion was 83% from the foul line. But now for the game, they're down to 65%. They were actually 11 of 17 from the line in the first half. Actually, that's what they are now. In the first half, they were five out of six. So not faring nearly as well in you know, a situation fought, where they just cannot afford to miss. They fought hard to cut the cut the lead to nine, and now they're missing free throws and turn the ball over, not getting good looks at the basket. And here the lead is back up to 17. Roselle back on for the Rams. Maynard has 18, Schuler has 20, and the lead is 19. And 
And now the Monarchs don't have the luxury of time, so they're going to have to make something happen in a hurry. Lee can't get the shot to go, but he'll go back to the foul line. So now everything, two-shot situation when fouls occur because that's now 10 team fouls. That was a good move. You got the first defender off his feet and the second and the third off. Just couldn't complete the end one. Lee with 11 points. Turns Ladonde to the sidelines for Old Dominion, and Old Dominion's going to have to play full court pressure if they have any hopes of getting back in this thing. We'll see if Ben Finney can pick up where he left off. Out front to Schuler. Now Femini, great pass to Maynard, he fouled. Boy, what a pass by Femini. VCU so patient on offense. Nice, nice entry pass into the post, and then great backdoor cut. Great backdoor cut by Maynard for the layup. Brandon Johnson picks up his first foul. It's only five team fouls, but Maynard to the line for a pair. Maynard outstanding 80% from the foul line. his first trip to the line today. Gary James, James back on for the Monarchs. Brandon Johnson will take a seat. Maynard looking for his 20th point, and he found it. So he's got 20. Schuler's got 20. The lead 19. Adams, strong move to the hoop. His first points of the game. They need more of that from him. He's fully capable of doing that, but he just doesn't. He's not aggressive enough in making that move. Now Schuler, guarded by Henderson. Maynard pulls up from inside the arc. Rebound, Adams. Adams, tough shot. He'll shoot a pair. That's what Old Dominion may have to do now. It's just attack and try to get to the line. Well, they have to have a sense of urgency right now. There's only four minutes to go in this game, and they've got a VCU has a significant lead. Jonathan Adams posting up here. Attacks the basket with the jump hook, and they got a foul called. That was on Anderson, just his first. Adams, 74% for the season. He scored older than his last three as Rodriguez back on for VCU. ODU going to have to pick up the full court press and try to make something happen, get some steals, get some easy baskets quickly if they're going to they're going to put a dent in this lead at all. Sanders also returned for the Rams. He's got four fouls. Adams misses. Schuler hands it to Maynard. Rodriguez will work some clock now. Rodriguez spins, finds Schuler, still 10 on the shot clock. And Schuler stepped on the baseline. A turnover. 13th of the afternoon against VCU. You see, Schuler made a strong turn but ran out of room. Actually, he bounced the ball on the line, it looked like first, and then stepped on it. Good defense by Brian Henderson cutting off that baseline. He had nowhere to go. 
One of the few mistakes that Shuler's made the entire ball game. Lead to James. The freshman scores. James now with eight. Old Dominion back within 14 as we go under four minutes. Now Shuler double team. And VCU takes a timeout with 3.41 to go. 30-second timeout taken by... That was a good job VCU by Old Dominion there. Been absolutely red hot. Red hot from three-point territory for the game. 43%, 9 out of 21. Of course, they got off to better than a 60% three-point shooting first half. Schuler, then Maynard. Schuler, then Maynard. Then Rodriguez got in the act. It's definitely been the Schuler and Maynard show today, that's for sure. They've done it from all over the place. Are you Quality, experienced guards will take you a long way, especially when you get to the postseason. And we're a long way from that, but certainly the guards primarily responsible for the success of VCU so far this season. Each with 130 and one full timeout left. Now Mayner. Finney's on him. Schuler tried to draw the contact, and they say the ball hit the sideline on the bounce pass. So the turnover is going to give it to Old Dominion. But now, wait a second. Jerry Heater's coming in, and he's going to say it went off of Old Dominion, so it's going to stay with VCU. And Blaine Taylor's not happy about that. It will be VCU ball. Timeout on the floor. 3.31 left in regulation. VCU still up by 14. The Blues Brothers part of the crowd here at Old Dominion. The Monarchs down by 14 as we take a look at the mid-major poll. Two CAA schools represented in the top 10, VCU and George Mason. Of course, the Bulldogs of Butler are an outstanding team, the team that beat Old Dominion last year in the first round of the NCAA tournament and the team that beat Maryland in the second round of the NCAA tournament on top of that mid-major poll. It will be VCU ball, 13 to shoot. A steal by Johnson. Johnson. And the foul. And that's a bad play by Maynard in the foul. Yeah, he should have let him go there, but uh, that was a good hustle play to steal that ball and go all the way to the basket. Good anticipation by Brandon Johnson, the senior. No question about the foul. Yeah, Maynard should just let him go with this lead. You don't want to give uh, Old Dominion a chance to get extra points. Johnson now with four points. Make it five, and the lead down to 11. And still plenty of time left. Bamini. The steal. Henderson. The score! ODU really making it happen now. Monarchs back within nine. Now Maynard pulls up and quiets the crowd. Boy, that's a big shot for Maynard, who now has 22, the lead back to 11. Three minutes to go. ODU makes a run, and Maynard, Maynard puts the dagger right back in him. Brandon Johnson, the three ball way short. Lee with the rebound. Lee fakes up the score and the foul. And that's number five on Larry Sanders as we take a look at the defense by Old Dominion. Johnson, a sensational play. And then Henderson with the big score. VCU is going to take a 30 seconds. Actually, they're going to just. This is not the timeout. He's got 30 seconds in which to replace the player with. And Sanders has fouled out. Let's take a look at Gerald Lee after he got the offensive rebound. He is outstanding with the, the head fakes and the ball fakes. He's a great fundamental player. Great footwork. Great, great use of head fakes. 
Old Dominion within nine. If they can hit this foul shot, this will be as close as they've been since midway through the first half. They're playing with a little urgency, a little sense of urgency here. They're trying well, to... I would say with 2.50 to go, they better. You know, I, I thought they were going to maybe try to do it with four or five minutes to go, get in the passing lanes, get some steals, make some things happen. They're doing it now. They've got the lead cut to eight. 15 for Lee. There's Sanders, who will watch the rest of the game from the bench as he's fouled out. Anderson to Maynard. Maynard to Schuler. Schuler now with 23. That's his fifth three of the game. Finney, a three. That's only the third three of the entire season for the freshman Ben Finney as Old Dominion takes a timeout. Back within eight, 2.22 to go. A huge shot for Schuler, and then an even bigger shot for Ben Finney. I tell you, Maynard, Maynard and Schuler continue to put daggers on Old Dominion, but they are not giving up. Old Dominion hit a big shot of its own. Really mixing things up right now, getting in passing lanes and forcing the issue, doing a good job. Great job, Old Dominion. Schuler has 23 points, 10 rebounds, 2 assists. Maynard, 22 points. Unofficially, five rebounds and seven assists. Gerald Lee has 15 to lead Old Dominion. Well, it's, it's impressive to watch the two stars from VCU patiently knock down shots at key moments of the game. And once again, Old Dominion comes out with full court pressure. That's just a sixteen foul, so it'll be possession of VCU. Let's take a look at this and see just what kind of position he had. Uh, that's a good call. That's pretty good ball handling by the big guy, too, to bring that ball up and not get it stolen, knocked away, or dribbled off his foot. Schuler to throw it into Maynard in the backcourt. Maynard glances over at Anthony Grant, his head coach, to see what he wants run. Monarch with the trap. And Anderson throws it away. The Monarch with the ball and a chance to get it down to six, perhaps even five. We've got to go back to the opening stages of the first half when they were that close last. Probably the first minute of the game. And a turnover. Just a senseless turnover there. Maynard almost lost it. And a 10-second count. 10-second violation. Blaine Taylor wanted backcourt. Instead, he gets the 10-second. Now Eric Maynard upset about the call. It's Old Dominion ball. So the team trade turnovers. The only thing that happened is Old Dominion lost some precious seconds off the clock. We got a lucky break there. James to Johnson. Now Ladonde squares up and hits a three. He can do it. Ladonde with seven. The lead down to five. Rodriguez to Schuler. And he's fouled. Boy, it's just one big play after another here in the last five minutes. Both teams really raised their level. But Let's take a look three. at Schuler now with 25. Look at that shot. I thought that should have been a no call. I don't know about the foul, but off balance, double clutch in the air at this point in the game with ODU making a comeback. Incredible shot by Schuler. Schuler, chance to get the lead back to eight. He got it. Schuler now with 26. Henderson on. 
Johnson would go out. Wayne Taylor will do a lot of platoon substituting down the stretch. He wants Henderson's offense. He wants Johnson's defense. Right now, he wants points. Back door to Henderson. Madonde, another three. Another one! And he's hot, he's hot. Back to a five-point game is Maynard. What a shot by Maynard. ECU just continues to answer the huge shots made by ODU, a huge shot to their own. Maynard with 24. Ladonde attacks the basket. Missed it. Monarchs won a foul. Now they double team and a foul against the Monarchs. Boy, what a shot by Ladonde, first of all, and then by Maynard at the other end to answer. VCU has answered almost every shot with a big shot of its own. Boy, anytime LaDonde can get his shoulders square, he's usually money in the bank. He had a hand in the face there, too. That was pretty good defense. That personal foul was on LaDonde. That's his fourth. 50 seconds left, so the sand going through the hourglass a little too quickly for the Monarchs liking. Finney's going to replace Lee. Actually, he's going to replace Adams. Brandon Johnson comes on to replace Gerald Lee. One and one, finally, for VCU. Maynard misses. 80% for the year, and he misses that one. LaDonde almost lost it. He does lose it. Numbers for the Rams. The alley-oop and Anderson with the throwdown. A couple of costly turnovers for ODU down the stretch. Monarchs down nine. And to Finney. Finney will shoot two. Bamini charged with a foul. And the Monarchs have had a couple of chances. And you're right, Cal. The turnovers have, have really hurt them. What a pass, though. That's a great play. Brandon Johnson dribbled behind the back uh, a few minutes ago. Turnover. Ladonde there. Couldn't handle the pass. A turnover. They're mounting a great effort of trying to come back. But costly turnovers. 11 points now for Ben Finney. Nine in the second half. Schuler another rebound. And Maynard ahead of the pack. 26 for Maynard, 27. Check that, 26 for Schuler. Brandon Johnson, long on the three. And now Rodriguez will just try to dribble it out. I think that's going to do it. ODU mounted a fierce attack to try to come back, but it was fell short in the end. VCU got up to the big first half lead. Old Dominion got to within five, but ran out of steam at the end. We'll take a break and come back with more as VCU runs its record to six and one in the league. They hang on to a share of first place. Back after this. <laughs> 